my friends, I am here to introduce you to this ink pad. Now you're looking at this ink pad saying, I already have a black licorice ink pad. I don't need to watch this video. This is not a black licorice ink pad. I'm going to open it up and you're going to notice that it's a nothing ink pad. On the spot where it says color, it says custom color. What does that mean? Well, it means you get to use our reinkers to make your own ink pad. Now, I was so excited when I thought to do this because number one, everybody loves the sponge that my um, ink pads are made out of. And it's a fantastic um, ink pad. But wouldn't it be fun if you got to make your own ombre ink pads? That's what I've done here. And I've just wrote in pink ombre on it so I know before I open it. And look, you can see that it's uh, three different pinks. This one happens to be guava, candy, and bubblegum. And let me show you what that looks like stamped because it looks even better stamped. Here it is. Here's the guava, candy, and bubblegum. Guava, candy, bubblegum. This time I did it upside down. Bubblegum, candy, guava. Isn't that fun? Now that one's easy. Then I did something a little different and I'm going to show you how to do this. Don't worry. Then I did something different with this one. This one says grape and pixie stripe. So here I did the other way. So this one I did long ways. This one I did short ways and I did grape, which is a dark purple pixie, which is a light purple grape, pixie, grape. And then I came up with this. Isn't that fantastic and fun? Now, there is no limit to what you can do with this. You could do ombre different colors. You could do fall colors like orange, red, and brown. You could do anything you want. Now, the way that I have found is the best way to do this is to take a brand new pad. Oh, and I also like to write what's on there. So that way I don't have to wonder, ooh, what color is that? I gotta make sure I know which one that is. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to make a green one because I wanna do some more flowers. And I'm gonna do a green one, but I'm gonna do something I haven't done before. Well, actually, let me do the stripes first, then we're gonna do something I haven't done before. Let's start with spearmint because that's kind of like the darkest color. And we are gonna go this way on this one. Now, when you add the color, I squeeze the bottle and you can see how the ink stays on top of the ink pad. Then I do not squeeze the bottle. So do not squeeze it. Just hold it gently. I'm not squeezing the bottle and I'm just rubbing that color in. I'm not adding more ink to this. I'm just rubbing that color in. You do not need to saturate the ink pad. You'll notice on this one, and I hope we can get in really, really close, maybe on the above camera. I have not saturated the entire part of that ink pad. You can still see a lot of white pad. You do not need to saturate it. Do not think you need a lot of ink for this. It seems like you might, but the less is better actually. It'll give you a better impression. You know how sometimes I say the ink pads are too juicy, Lucy? Exactly. You don't want, I'm not squeezing it. I'm just rubbing it in, just getting it in there. Now I'm going to do artichoke. And actually, I'm going to add a little bit more spearmint because I, I want more spearmint in there. Again, I squeezed for a second. Now I'm not squeezing and I'm just rubbing it in, getting it in there. Do not add more ink after that. You don't want it too juicy, Lucy. Now I'm adding artichoke. Again, I'm going to squeeze for a second. Don't go all the way to the spearmint. Don't go all the way. And then now I'm not squeezing and I'm just rubbing it in. And I'm going to go much closer now. Now that I'm just rubbing it in, I'm going to go much closer to that other color. Pull some in over there. If I need to, I'm going to add a little bit more ink, but not too close because I don't want it to overlap and get muddy. Add a little bit of ink right now, and then I'm going to rub that in. See how I'm just getting really careful next to that piece, that extra piece right there? I mean, that spearmint. I don't want them to overlap and get muddy. Now I'm going to do green apple. Again, same thing. I'm going to add a whole ink, 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 stop. Now I'm just going to rub it in. So use that tip to rub it in, get closer to it. And I'm not going to do the whole pad on this one because in the interest of time, I added a little bit more there. You could see that it kind of squirt out and I'm just rubbing that in and I'm getting a little bit closer. There we go. But you don't want to overlap too much because then it'll get muddy. Okay. Now I have three colors. Now, I would normally like to let this sit with the lid on it overnight to really let it seep in. But 
we're going to go ahead and play with it and see what it looks like. Let's do, ooh, let's do this stamp right here because this one's a nice big one. So I'm going to stamp. Now you'll notice that my stamp doesn't fit all the way on here. So I'm going to make sure that when I ink it, I'm going to go straight up there and make sure I ink it again in the exact same spots. I'm not going to move it around because that would get it muddy, right? And then I'm going to, and you can tell that it's a little too juicy right now, but that's okay. It's going to give you the idea. But look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Three different colors. Imagine doing this with a word. You could do your own rainbow pad. You could do anything you want. Now, let's do this again. I'm stamping in the exact same colors. I'm not muddying my pad. Stamping in the exact same spots. And I'm going to stamp again. And each impression is going to get a little better because it's going to have a little less ink. Less ink is better, okay? But isn't that fun? Now, I want to try something. So that's stripes, three stripes that way. This green, uh, uh, sorry, purple one is five stripes this way. And then this pink one is three stripes this way. You get to play and have fun. Do whatever you want. Don't do my combinations. Make up your own if you want to. But what I wanted to do is, and I'm going to do this with... Um, well, I'm going to do this with these three colors because this is just fun. So now I'm going to use Pixie, which is a light purple, Candy, which is a medium pink, and Grape, which is a dark purple. And I'm going to, I haven't done this before, so we don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. I'm going to do circles. I am just going to be silly. Okay, I've added ink, and now I'm just rubbing it in. Adding ink, and now I'm just rubbing it in. Stop squeezing. And let's do this one. And we're, I don't, I don't honestly... Honestly, honestly, do not know what this is going to look like. So it could look totally dumb, and I could look like a fool, or it could look kind of cool, and I'll look good. But either way, we're just going to have fun. Okay. And then that way, maybe you don't have to do this if, if it doesn't work good. Okay, adding more ink there. Getting some more ink on that one. And then let's do our Pixie, which is a light purple. And what's funny is sometimes these inks don't look exactly like the color they're going to stamp. So... You might be surprised. You might go, oh, I thought that was going to be darker. Oh, I thought that was going to be lighter, but it's kind of fun. And let's do, oh, let's do some more over here, more over here. That doesn't look like a dot. Okay, and then let's add some more, ooh, let's do more pink. Okay, I think we're pretty good on this. Let's try this. Now, I have a lot of white spots, so I don't know if this is going to look good or not. If it doesn't, we can add more ink. You can always add more ink. You just can't take ink away very easily. So let's clean this stamp because we want to use that one. Again, I just use cheap baby wipes from one of the big box stores, and they smell nice, and they clean the stamps really well. Dry that off a little. Okay, I don't know what this is going to look like. This is going to be interesting. So I want to be really careful, and I'm going to stamp right here. But I don't want to muddy anything, so I'm going to make sure I go way up and just stamp the bottom part that didn't get ink. I don't know what this is going to look like. Let's see. Ooh, that actually looks kind of pretty. Look how pretty that looks from here. Let's see. Ooh, that's a different look. What I really feel like I need is a bigger stamp. Let's, ooh, let's try, let's try this snowflake. Snowflake might look pretty. Okay, so let's see this, oops, let's take that one off. Now, I just want you to play with this and have some fun. I, if, do the dots really work? I don't know, maybe we stick with stripes. But let's try this again. I'm gonna ink right there, and then I'm gonna move it way up and just ink the spot that didn't get inked before. And let's press down. Oh, that's kind of fun, something different. I know what I wanna do, watch this. This is going to be fun. See, this is fun when you just get to play. Let's clean our block a little and let's turn that over. Well, let's, okay. I want to just do this. <gasps> this is going to look cool. I'm making my own image. This is going to, this would be a good background image. Look at how pretty that is. That's fun. Now let's try this. See, you just get to play. I don't know. Are dots the answer? Uh, I don't think so. But that's kind of fun. I really, really love the stripes. That's cute. I think it just needs more ink. I think what if we just added another color? I don't know. We could play all day. Anyway, 
This is what we mainly intended it for, was the stripes, because you can go from one color to another color. You could add as many colors as you wanted. I added a maximum of three. You could add as many as you want. Have fun with these. Write on them so you know what one is which one, and you're going to find yourself grabbing these more and more often and having a lot of fun with these. Again, they come clean. Uh, I used all of mine. They come white, so you get to add any inks you want. Have fun, and I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much, and I see you again soon. Bye-bye. Right.